Okay, so now we are going to talk about parts per billion or parts and parts per million. Okay, or PPM and PPB. These are um, the measures of a very dilute solution. So parts per million, this is again for the very dilute solutions, number of parts of a drug per 1 million or billion parts of the whole and then the same default units of the following as a percentage system. So you know already the percent concentration. So we have weight per weight and then weight per volume and volume per volume. So now we are going to discuss how we are going to convert our parts per million to a percentage strength. So these are shortcuts of how you are going to convert this. So PPM is converted to a percentage strength. Therefore, you are going to move the decimal point four places to the left again four places to the left if you are going to convert ppm to percentage strength but if you are going to convert percentage strength to ppm then you are going to move the decimal places four times to the right again converting from percentage strength to ppm we are moving the decimal point four places to the right Again, huh, remember that your parts per million and parts per billion are units of measure of a very dilute solution. Parts per million. Here you have a PPM is one part of a solution per million parts of a solution. In terms of defining the equation, we can write PPM is to um, weight per weight. So we have mass of solute over mass of solution times 10 raised to the power of 6. Okay, 10 raised to the power six of 6 because it is 1 million. And then PPM, volume per volume, we have volume of solute over volume of solution times 10 raised to the power of 6 or 1 million. PPM, weight per volume, we have mass of the solute in grams and volume of the solution in ml times 1. 10 raised to the power of 6 or 1 million. And then a part per billion or PPB is one part of the solute per billion parts of the solution. Here's the factor. And the factor is 9 raised to the power of 9 instead of the factor 10 raised to the power of 6. Okay, so if you are going to compute for PPB, then you are going to replace the factor from 10 raised to the power of 6 to 10 raised to the power of 9 or 1 billion. So, he, here on this slide, you will see the conversion of our percentage strength to PPM. Okay, again, remember, if you are going to convert our percentage strength to PPM, we are moving the decimal point four places to the right. So, you have this problem express 0.00022% volume, a uh, weight per volume as PPM. So, round to the nearest tenth. So, what you're going to do is you can... You, ca you may be going to um, um, express the percentage into weight per volume. So to your left, you have there 0 0.00022 grams in weight and then divided by 1 ml as your volume. Okay, and you can also express weight per volume into percentage strength. So we have 0 0.0022% over 100% because remember that when we're talking about percent, we're talking about parts in 100, okay? So, you're going to write 0.00022% over 100%. So, to convert this, in shortcut, you are to simply move your decimal point to the right four times. So, your answer would be 2.2. But if you are going to do the dimensional analysis, then you are going to write the fraction in percent times 10 raised to the power of 6. So, you will get the same answer, 2.2 ppm. On your right, you, you have their convert ppm to a percentage strength. So, in short, in shortcut um, way, we have moved the decimal places four times to your left. So you will have an answer of 0 0.00022%. But if you are going to express this into fraction, then we have 2.2 ppm is equal to 2.2 over 1 million. Okay? So if you are going to express this to percent, then you are just to simply multiply it to 100. So 2.2 over 1 million times 100%. So your answer would be the same 
as the shortcut. So, 0.00022%. So, parts per million in a solution even more dilute than milligram percent, we may see concentrations written in parts per million or ppm, such as 7 ppm. PPM is typically expressed in milligrams per liter or milligrams per kilogram and can be easily converted to other ratios using the units factor method. Okay, for further, we also write 7 ppm as 0.0007%. Remember, if you are converting a ppm to um, a percentage strength, you are moving the decimal place, uh, the decimal point to your left four times. Okay? So, um, you may also write the percentage strength into 7 is to 1 million, okay? But since we are going to convert this to a percentage strength in um, dimensional analysis, you may use this, okay? 7 over 1 million times 100%. So, our answer will still be the same as 0.0007%. So you have here another example. Let's say we're working in a lab. Our job is to test samples of different solution and determine the concentration of a particular chemical. After performing several titrations, we've determined that the concentration is one of the solutions is 7 ppm. We would now like to do some further testing on another device. So we fill up a 1 ml sample vial with a solution. Let's figure out how many grams of the chemical in our 1 ml sample vial. Since we know that the concentration of ppm, we can convert to 7 milligrams per liter to grams per ml. Okay, so we are given here a 7 milligrams per liter. So we are going to convert this to grams per ml. So what we are going to do is to Cancel out our milligram. So, 1,000 milligram is equal to 1 gram. So, write it in the denominator and 1 is in the numerator. Because our 7 milligram is in the numerator, therefore, we are going to write the 1,000 milligram in the denominator and the equivalent value of 1 gram. Okay, so we already have a gram. Check. This is check. And then, now we are going to look for the conversion factor of our liters to ml. So, since it is in the denominator, the given of our liter is in the denominator, so we are going to write the um, liter in the numerator and the conversion factor. So cancel the unit liter and then what is left is 1000 ml. So what you are going to do now is to simply multiply the numerators and the denominators. And then we will have 7 grams over 1 million ml, okay? So, 7 divided by 1 million, we have 0 0.000007 grams per ml. So, this will be your final answer. So, parts per billion and from per million. Okay, so you have here, what is 8 ppm in ppb? So, you are given already an 8 ppm. So, you know, if you're going to break this down, you have 8 over 1 million because it is 8 ppm. So what you're going to do now is to use the ratio and proportion. Since we we don't know the value of our x, so um, since we are looking for the ppb, we know that the denominator would be in 1 would be in billion. Okay, so we have 1 billion. What you're going to do now is to cross multiply. So 8 times 1 billion divided by 1 million, our answer would be 8,000 per 1 billion here, or 8,000. The x would be 8,000, okay? So you know that 8 ppm can be written as 8 over 1 million, and ppb is, can be written as the value over 1 billion. But since we don't know the value for our x, so we have to find it using ratio and proportion. So that is how you're going to get ppm and ppb. So this ends our discussion. Thank you everyone for your participation. And remember, I will, I will be um, closing the VOPP by 10. Thank you.